Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. It's Floral Friday and I'm painting pansies. So come along for the ride and let's paint some pansies. Okay, so first I will teach you how to draw one, which you can do on your pencil, with your pencil on your paper lightly. Um, they're fairly easy. You just make a line down here, little bumps coming here. And you grab another one, do the same same then you got this petal behind here and like another one here and in here you'll have like your yellow color and you'll be painting shades go here the stem their leaves are kind of bumpy like this and then if you have another little bud growing here Little leaves like this, and a little bud, like so. And you can have the leaves again, these little bumpy leaves. But you get the idea. I mean, it's pretty easy. You can just, like I said, print out a picture from the internet of what a pansy looks like, get practice tracing it, you know, getting the feel of how to draw it. Um, even like the different side views or shapes, because you know, this is just a bud. The buds live in their little pods. And they're like they're sprouting out. And the leaves again. I put some grass here if you want. But you get the idea. Okay, let's move on to the actual painting part. Okay, so I've sketched out um, my design on my arches 100% cotton cold water pressed paper. I love arches or any cotton paper for this particular exercise because um, it's going to be a bleeding wet and wet kind of situation and it just is much better paper for that. The other papers don't bleed as well. Um, so I'm going to be using various brushes. I'm going to start off with this Princeton Long Round number 8. The paints I have over here, just like a violet here, I have ultramarine and indigo and we'll be playing around with those colors as well as the let me get some of the green wet. Um, medium green. You see I'm mixing that up right now. I use a crappy brush to get it wet. This is a technique that you should use because you don't want to use your good brushes to mix up paint. You're destroying them when you do that because this is just harsh on them. Um, even if you spray it and you still get it wet, it's just the mixing part of it. So this is a really crappy brush and I mix up my paint color, see it's a medium green mixed with a sap green, you know, um, various tones of green. The hooker's green is over here, I get this wet. And this one over here, get some, oop, get on my paper. Stuff happens in real time. That's fine, it's a little blemish. Okay, so I got my paintbrush wet. I have some violet hair mixed in with some ultramarine, a little indigo. So it's a muddy pale, it's not a very bright one. And I'm gonna get it really, see I'm dabbing on the paper towel down here. Fairly light. I'm gonna put a wash, a really light wash of that color in the area. Let me zoom in where the pansy will be. There are different types of pansies. It can be white around here, which is the dark, but I'm just going to do the simpler one my way. So I'm washing in this uh, very light, pale, kind of like a periwinkle purple. And I'm not hitting the other petals. I'm trying to get as close as possible without hitting them. Really close. And while that's still wet, I can grab a deeper, darker tone. The violet mixed with the ultramarine, really deep. And this is the beautiful trick I love about what I want. You just dab in 
Well, that one's still not wet, so let's try this one. See how that bleeds right out? Fun times. <laughs> and it gives that pansy effect. So I'm gonna have to get this area wet again for it to bleed. It dried up too quickly. And same thing with this one. Go back in and add that. Just hitting the edge. Now I didn't like that bleed, so I'll just play around with it. I'll clean up my brush, a dab of paper towel, and I'll kind of push out the color with my brush. Make it go where I want it to go. But these ones worked fairly well on this side. And I'll just keep pushing it. But the wet and wet worked really well here. And I'm going to do the top one. Now you can make these different shades of purple. This is kind of like a muted, it's not very bright. I could add it, make it brighter if I wanted to. But I'm liking this pale, muted kind of purple color. I go in and add it. So much fun. <laughs> I do, I love it. I don't know why. Something magical about the paint just bleeding like that. So I'm still not touching the edges of the other ones yet. I can go back in and do that later. And I'm moving this around around, clean off my brush, and I mop up some of this. We are going to add detail when it dries. And I still want to get even a little darker. Add some of the indigo with the violet. Right here, just on the edge. Just a tip of it. I don't want to bleed too much. And we're gonna do the same thing on this guy. But before I show you that, I'm gonna go and do some leaves. So I've got the color here. Just oops. I'm really batting a hundred, and it's a full moon today, so but look at that. I turned it right into the leaf I needed. See? It just happened to plop right where it was supposed to go, actually, so it worked in my favor. Just filling in this little. This long round brush from Princeton is great tip. Fabulous. It wouldn't work well on um, other types of flowers that, you know, you don't want that pointy tip for. It's great for leaves and stems. Fantastic for that. Even sc script, things like that. Just pushing in the color. I showed you some of the leaves. Some of the leaves that also kind of look like these round, fluffy leaves. I don't know how to describe it, but. Just rounded with the little bumps on the edges. So we're adding in our leaves and our stems. And right now I'm just putting in the basic filler color, but you definitely want to add in the various tones in the greens because, you know, nature isn't monotone like this. Nature has. I'll be having a buds up here. You know, play around with where you want the buds to be, you want a bouquet, you want to put it in a vase. If painting a vase is difficult, um, paint it in a pot or something. Put it, just use the actual pansies and put it in a wreath. 
and do that. Do a bunch of different, just a bunch of different pansies themselves in a pattern. So I'm just filling in this area just to get the composition where I want it to be. And then we go back in and fill in those pansies. But as this uh, green area, stems and leaves, are still kind of wet, I'm going to go in and add some darker tones and darker greens. Especially under where the green hits the underneath the pansy for a shadow. I'm going to give it variety. People had asked about rose tutorials. I have a rose tutorial on my channel. Scroll through, you'll find it. Um, it's an easy and loose one. It's very pretty. I'll probably do some more of those coming up, but right now I just felt like doing a pansy on Floral Friday. So just filling in, you see I'm doing it in the various tones of green, just to give it that dimension. Okay, we're gonna go back in and work on the pansies. So this one I might make a little bit, I mean the same tone, but a little bit brighter. Add some more of that more concentrated violet. Okay, and I'm going to lighten it up. So it's a little more purple. This one's more blue. This one's a little more purple. Kind of working fast because I want to fill in and then, as you saw before, put that wet on wet technique the darker cone right in the middle. So I'm working as fast as I can. Filling in the color. Here we go. Now I add in a deeper tone of purple. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I just noticed that when I had my thing was on zoom when I was painting the greenery. So sorry about that. Coming back. Yes, my studio. Live paint tutorial. I had the phone ringing and had to shut that off. part. Try not to let that one bleed into it. But it's kind of doing that. And I'm going to finish this one over here. It's a little back petal behind the other one. And because it's behind, it should be a little darker. Right where it would hit it. This one we're going to add the details, and this is where the point comes in. Now see, this got a little too muddy, so I'm going to clean up my brush and go in and push that paint around, or mop it up. In this case, mop it up, mop it up in some areas. It was all fun and games when there was bleeding, huh? And then it decided it wasn't going to play out the game, so we'll just fix that. Come back to that one. Put that little darker part right there again. Don't play with me. <laughs> Talking to my paint. All right, so I got some of the darker concentrated paint on the tip of the brush. 
And let me zoom in now and then remember to zoom out. I'm going to put the little lines, the panties have these detail lines. And on the edges too, they have them. Let me clean up my brush, get a little. I have them like here too. So you're just wisping these lines, little ones from the edge. Pulling those little lines out. You don't have to put the lines in if you don't want. I mean, I'm just putting them in, but if you like the way it looked without it, feel free to leave it that way. But this nice pointy tip comes in handy with this this part. And you can go in and add that real deep. Dark bleed part. In the middle, of course, we'll be adding the yellow. And I'm going to put some more deeper paint on the behind the leaf petal and then go in and fill in this area here. See that? And I'll repeat that same step here. Um, on the buds, I'm just going to flush in some color. These little buds. I showed you in the drawing how they look. I'm just painting them. You can just fill in the color and we'll add the lines in a bit. I'm just going to flush in the pale purple or violet. And all those little buds. Zoom out. I put quite a few buds. I just like the variety of just the bigger flowers with the little flowers. Excuse me if I sneeze during this. I'm going to have to stop this. I've been sneezing crazy today. I don't know what's going on and what that means. I mean, it's not like it's, you know, the season of sneezing. It's winter here in where I live. But I woke up this morning and I've been sneezing like crazy. Maybe it's the full moon. I don't know. And see how much the composition looks nicer, much nicer with um, the variety of the different sizes of flowers. I'm putting in the darker tone here, right where the petals meet the greenery. Using that brush tip to push out those lines. The more concentrated the paint on your brush, the less it will bleed. The wetter it is, the easier it will bleed. So now I put some fairly concentrated color on my brush on the tip and I'm pushing it out on the petals. Like so. You can go back in and do this one. It's still a little wet, I can feel it, but we can still work with it. We can do the behind flower here, petal. And shadow. I'm 
and start working with the, the lines on this one. Just like I did the other one. That's why this brush is great for that. It has this, you know, belly that's fairly nice that you could push out and put color on. But these great points. So you're not switching, switch, switching brushes too much. You're just using one. So I'm just filling in fairly quickly the little lines that I showed you earlier on that one. Go in and grab some of the more concentrated color and put it in here. And then from the middle, I have my brush. It's usually yellow in the middle of the pansy. My yellow is turning green, so my brush must be dirty. I'm going to use like a medium yellow. I don't want too bright yellow. Let's put that in there. If it bleeds out a little bit, that's fine. But you get the idea. So there you have it, a beautiful, fun, simple, easy way to paint pansies. Now you can change the color on these, like purple is great, but you can make them red, orange. I mean, you've seen the pansies in the stores. They're pink, they're orange, they're yellow, they're red. Um, there's so many varieties of colors, but there's a lot of fun you can do with this. And like, here's just a simple composition. You could stick this in a pot or a vase. Or just use the pans, like I said, themselves and make a pattern with them. Play around with it. Have fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed this Floral Friday tutorial. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. Take care.